Right, so here's the uh, 12F683 microcontroller which has been programmed um, as a charge pump mounted onto a strip of um, proto board and uh, the charge pump capacitors are the two blue ones just to the left of the chip and the yellow one immediately below them is the reservoir so that's where the final voltage is stored and uh, the green wire is clipped onto that at the moment and you can see that um, that is showing 21.33 volts from a 12 volt uh, battery and uh, let's just have a look at um, that on this probe so if I probe the battery positive we have 12.4 and if I probe the output of the charge pump we have 21.3 so we're getting a gain of about 9 volts and that makes sense because the charge pump um, takes the 12 volt input and adds two lots of 5 to it so in theory it's 12 plus 10 but of course those diodes down there are not shocky they're just regular diodes they have about a 0.6 volt drop so we're losing two lots of 0.6 we're losing about a volt and that explains why the 10 volts we should be adding ends up being 9 volts um, now I've also added onto this board an ICSP header ICSP is in circuit serial programming and that's this six pin let me just put the magnifying glass it's that six pin connector there and the idea is that I can put the um, pit kit programmer onto those pins and I could conceivably reprogram that chip if I felt the need if um, it uh, looks like it needs a bit of extra uh, programming on the right hand side of this board there's going to be the push button switch which is the one that selects between the different frequencies it's not fitted yet because I'm uh, waiting for the switch to come in um, but that's it pretty much done I'll uh, just explain where this is going to fit on the uh, solar test rig so here's the uh, solar test rig and uh, on the battery side this um, charge pump is going to fit here onto the positive and negative terminals I'm just going to mount it on like that and then that will take 12 volts from the battery and provide the additional um, voltage above 12 volts that the MOSFET there requires um, for switching so I should be able to get rid of this 9 volt battery because I'll have 9 volts on this unit uh, over and above the 12 volts of the, um, the battery voltage now I use this um, charge pump technique on my PWM5 PWM solar charge controller this one and this is a circuit diagram um, which shows you roughly what's going on so there's the 5 volt regulator taking VBAT which is 12 volts down to 5 volts VDD there are the two outputs from the PIC and they drive these two 47N uh, capacitors and then there are the three 1N4148 diodes and the final reservoir capacitor which I've now made um, a ceramic rather than a tantalum so that's the overall circuit uh, this section there and that's um, what's been put on this board and certainly I didn't mention earlier the um, this bit down on the left here which is the voltage regulator it's an LP2950 it's a low dropout uh, low quiescent current and that's the important thing um, 5 volt regulator and a smoothing cap on the 12 volts and a smoothing cap on the 5 volts and that's the charge pump